We just got hit by a massive storm. That was insane. It was time to get back on board and check for any damage. This room just got destroyed. Really? Oh. Well, I wouldn't say destroy, but yeah, she definitely went through some bouncing. That's when sure. I was down here, I felt like we were on a passage, like worse yeah. than coming back from Grenada. Yeah, it's it was bouncing in here, man. It was. I think it was a good call to pack up a book bag. Look at this. Look at that damage. So when we were in the coming into the winds, they're about at about 40 knots. No, they're like 50. 50. Before they kicked up to 65, 70, Jeremiah was like, okay. You know, let's pack up our valuables and get you and Reese off the boat. So I packed up our laptops and our hard drives and paperwork. That's our valuables. Laptops so we can upload video, hard drives because it has all of our video equipment, and our paperwork for Calypso and our passports. Those are our valuables. Yes. That's crazy. So I packed it up in this book bag and I'm happy yeah. it's coming back to the boat. It'd be sad if we were going to a hotel room because that would mean something different. Yeah. But it worked out. Yeah. Good job, Reese. Yay! All right, well, power's out. Oh, as I expected. darn it. That's all right. I mean, our batteries are full. They're sitting at 13.2. We have water. We have uh, two full tanks of water. And, you know, so the only thing we don't have is AC. So is that's, that because you know, the gangway fell? It could be. Or it just could be power. It could be out everywhere. but. You know, we kind of expected there wouldn't be any power. I have ice. I'm good. Did you just like drop your pants when I said, come on? <laughs> yeah. <You're just> like, <laughs> I got soaked, as you can see. And um, when you were telling me to get off the boat, I was naked. So I was like, oh, ah! really? <laughs> I was trying to get changed. And then you're uh, like, get off the boat. Let's get off the boat. Yeah, well, then... I wanted to get up for it. I wanted to get you guys up there before it got too bad. It, you know, it, it was like going over 50 knots for sustain. Jeez. Oh, that's the feel. Guys, a jacket is flipped all over the place up there. My jacket? Oh, shit, it's going. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all hands. for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. going on here? My boat boy? Yeah, I'm your, I'm your bosun. Oh, nice. Have sounds, you ever had a bosun? No, that sounds appealing, though. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to polish them before I put the solar panels back up. Yeah, great idea. Was it salty? Yeah, well, I washed them first, and then, yeah, they were nasty, man. Yeah. These guys have been crazy. They've been like, like, yeah, I want to see that Thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's his next boat. He you want to like, sell Calypso. He was like, well, I put it in four. Put it in four. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's like that mug. It says, I'm sorry what I said when I was docking or something like that. Yeah. No, it's stressful. Yeah, I figured I'd polish this before I put it all back together. I just washed the whole arch. I'm going to polish it and then I'll put the solar on and then put the sail, about, sail up and just getting everything back to, you know. But the boat is filthy. It had like freaking salt all over it. So. Yeah, it's pretty salty, all that spray. Yeah. But it's good, you know, just take our time, get it all back together, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Bella just got destroyed inside by the five year old. 
What's she cleaning? That's, I don't know. I don't know what's called. <laughs> the side panels. Nice job, dude. Thanks. Sure. Don't let me stop you. Go ahead. Clean it up. Clean it up. Good work. Solar panels are up. She washed the fender covers. How's that coming? That's nice, those things are nasty. Oh yeah, they were awful. They sat in the water at some point, we didn't realize. Yeah, they're like brown and stuff at the bottom. Did they come out good? Yeah, I washed them twice. And the second time I used a little bit of bleach. Oh. But I mean, you can still see. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, but when you find good washing you machines. Put, are you putting the good side up now? I don't know what that's, I'm doing. That's the, so you're putting the bad side at the top. Does that matter? <laughs> Very nice, honey. We had a few days of gusty weather that kept us here. Perfect for putting the boat back together without too much of a rush. When we pull the sail off, I just hook this up with the bungee, pull it together. And that way it holds this from sliding up. We're not going to raise the sail right now. Unfortunately. It's going to gust like that. It wasn't gusting like that until we needed to raise the sail. Yeah. When you put the sail up, it's pretty simple. You just basically hook it up like this. And so you just put this little bead in the little track and you go up with it and it stays in there. And that's what it is. Now, eventually this will start, sometimes I've seen them start failing and stuff, but really it's just a bead. It's amazing that all that force is being held by that little down here. The captain wasn't happy. He got it all out to put it up and the winds picked right up when it was time to hoist. Surprisingly, this isn't uncommon. The winds know man and they will mess with you. Well, We're off the dock and headed on. And on. We're on the way to Thimble Island which is supposed to mimic Maine. A bunch of rock formations that are privately owned little islands so you can't go ashore. But that also means there's a good chance that your anchor could get fouled and after reading reviews it's common to happen. So Jeremiah created a trip line for us. I've never used one, he's never used one, but it's supposed to help you get your anchor out, which I'm sure it does uh, if it were to get fouled. I'm excited to use it. We are gonna be there in about an hour. We're gonna have some lunch and then the winds are switching to the south, so that means it'll be uncomfortable to stay overnight. So we'll pick up anchor and uh, continue on, or if we get a mooring ball, we'll let go of the mooring ball and continue on. Well, that was the plan anyway. Soon after, we got a sad phone call to tell us that my grandfather had passed away, unfortunately. We decided to turn around and head back to the marina to prepare to lay him to rest. You ready to send me up the mast? I am, I'm a pro by now. Okay, so no noise and then I'll just transmit. As soon as it starts, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. It's like 120 beats a minute, about two feet a second. Getting good at those bowling. You like that? Yeah. That turn you on? Wow, the way he does his bowlings. <laughs> Before we head out, we decided to remove the radar antenna for this ticking issue. Well, you know what we're gonna do? I do. We're gonna raise you up the halyard, just like we did two days ago. Yeah. We have to go home to Florida for a family emergency, and since our raider's also giving us trouble, we decided to kind of do it at the same time. We can mail it out along the way, or we'll already be in Florida. We can drop it off if we need to, and then pick it back up or have it shipped back to our family member's house before we go. And then when we get back, we can take off. Yeah, hopefully we can take it off. Now when I'm up there, I'm gonna need some, um, I'm gonna need tools. So you're gonna have to send them up. I got the string, oh, no. but you're gonna need to know what they are. No. I'm not, I don't know what I need, and I can't keep, you can't just go up and down, up and down. So. I'm gonna have to Google it. It's gonna be a new. I hate when you need tools. I explain what the tool is every time. Like it is this type of tool. It looks like this. Yeah, but we can never find your tools. They're always missing. They're not missing. So we're going to use this, that, and the chair. I'm gonna try to put this chair on a little better this time because it was like 
I was falling out of it yesterday. So I'll just clip this on when I get up there. And if I fall before I get up there, then I'll just uh, hold on the mast and slide down like a fire pole. I'm not going very high. I won't be that far of a fall if you No, I mean, it'll probably just break a leg or my back or something. Your knee's already messing up, so it's- My whole body's messing up, so we're good. We get around, but this stuff can be a little dangerous. Enough about that, though. Let's get this antenna off. Up the mast he goes. All right, we're good. I hoist from the stern, and Jeremiah travels up the mast. We use the headsets to communicate, and they make it super easy. All right, safety's on. Jeremiah's up the mast for the second time this week. Checking out our radar. He's been troubleshooting with the company online and they wanted him to check the belt. They thought it might, might have been a belt issue. He doesn't think it's a belt issue. Uh, obviously, he's skilled in this department. I'm not. He's the one working with it, not the company. So I think he's probably right with what he thinks is wrong. He thinks it might be the motor needs to be rebuilt or I don't know, maybe it's just completely failed it. But they don't make this version anymore of the radar. To buy a new radar, it's about $2,000. We're hoping we can take it off, ship it to them, and they can rebuild the motor. Um, we did send them an email, they haven't responded, so we don't know, but we're taking it off just in case, and we're gonna bring it with us to Florida, just in case. It might be all for nothing, because we might just have to buy a new one if they can't rebuild the motor, but. His home is now up the mast. He's actually getting very comfortable with it. It's pretty impressive. Is Daddy up the mast again? Yeah, don't get under him case something falls. Tick, tick, tick. That's not normal. Radar is super important, so we need this fixed. Ready? the radar down we're gonna send this in it's basically making like a like an electrical click sounds like voltage like tick 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 uh, you know got a hold for Runa they thought it might be the belt too tight it wasn't the belt it's not too tight it's not missing teeth or anything and it doesn't happen when you turn it without it being on it only happens when you apply power so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together I had to take the right here has some wires coming through in a grime I'm gonna replace that because I had to chew it up pretty good to get it out not too bad, but I'll replace it with a new one. And that's all we really damaged pulling it out as far as we know. We're gonna wrap this thing up and we're gonna take it with us down. We're gonna drive down to Florida uh, for a family emergency. Uh, so, but in the meantime, we're just gonna ship this out and hopefully it comes back working great and we'll stick it back up. Unfortunately, we had to take everything else down with it, but that's okay. I mean, just keep everything organized and it'll all go up pretty easily. Or it should, that's the theory. There's a little triangle right here and that's where there's a little triangle on this too. What you do is you just meet those up. And then it's sealed up and you just put this, use a screwdriver and put it on. Is that like a new puppy? Yeah. <laughs> it's our new baby. It's actually the same old baby, just rebuilt. Hey, it's cheaper than buying a new one. Yeah. How much was it? These things, are, I think the new are like, well, for the, the one that's don't move, like $2,000, $2,500 or something like that. We got it repaired for a hundred bucks. Awesome. Oh. There yeah, she it. is. It's so, so cozy in here. So let's just take it out of here and put it up on the deck. Yeah, hey, you want to tell me what was wrong I with it? I think Calypso was a little sad to not have it. Um, we got hit by that hurricane, and afterwards it was it was making like a ticking sound. It sounded like electrical, but we tried to troubleshoot it and let's go with Furuno and everything. Ended up having to send it in, and they found issues with the motor. The motor was coming apart inside, so they repaired it, checked it over, and now it should be good. So I'm gonna spend today 
later today, probably around sunset, I'll have the mask put it together. Yeah, and we couldn't really leave Connecticut without it because um, yeah, the fog. Fog's really bad up here. Yeah, radar's a big deal up here. But we got it. We are back in business. Radar working great, and we're off the dock enjoying a lovely anchorage. Well, I can see our anchor buoy out there. We just started using a little trip line because all the rocks up here, but it's kind of cool. This was perfect. Later in the day, it was time to relax and grab a cold one. We sat back and enjoyed the moment. Boating can be so amazing, unpredictable too. For instance, can you believe this turned into... Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. So we had a little hit and run. Had a board down to look at the damage. Well, it takes always smells so good. <laughs> well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. Our brand new dinghy. Calypso 2, Calypso 1. They look like they have little penises. Luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Don't stop. All right. Don't leave me in here. Got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. It's a lot warmer. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. I guess you can go to the bathroom. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> VHF antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early. The problem is everything's so small I can't freaking read it. Oh, oh you're right God. in front of us. It's gone. I found something. Don't take me back. You can't take me back. I'm going to turn north and probably put out the head sail. It's nice and smooth. It's in. Oh! oh! Come back into New York. What do you think? About what? Uh, put your butt. Put it right under your butt. So you want to just make a shot? Lovely. Oh my goodness! How cool is that? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. <laughs>